morning. It's Tuesday morning. We are blessed to have you here with us today. Um, today is an exciting day in the Lord. Amen. Every day uh, that we have God gives to us is a good day, and we need to look at it like that. The, today, our devotion is on, I've entitled it, The Anchor. One, one of the things I did this week when I was preparing the devotions, Marcia, is I, I looked at a lot of the titles throughout the New Testament that, that are given to Jesus. And then just taking each one, we talked about him being the rock yesterday. But today we're going to talk about he's the anchor. One of my favorite scriptures of all scriptures is in Hebrews chapter 6 in verse 18 and 19. And it says this, So that by two unchangeable things in which it is impossible for God to lie, we who have fled for refuge might have a strong encouragement to hold fast to the hope that is set before us. We have this as a sure and steadfast anchor of the soul, a hope that enters into the inner place behind the curtain. And that that's hope that we have in Jesus Christ literally is the anchor that holds us in place. That's right. That, that hope is uh, that anchor of knowing that Jesus is there for us. He never leaves us nor forsakes us. And our salvation is sure. And uh, we're headed in the right direction. You know, I think about the Christians in early days. And we were talking, we've been teaching on the book of James. And the book of James is about a dispersion of the, the Christian Jews uh, because of, of all the persecution. And, you know, many of them, Marcia, um, and the, as they fled, you know, they were thinking, well, is this really worth it? You know, it, the pressure is so great on me, my family, on living even, not just having a job, but literally life and death situations. And, and don't you think they had some second thoughts. Don't you oh, think sure. a lot of them had second Don't you thoughts? Know the enemy was throwing oh, thoughts man. Out of the console. Yeah. And so this is what Paul's talking about. This is that anchor that holds and, and you know, like a ship. That ship up on the surface may be tossed around or tossed around, but it's held in one place by that there, that it? anchor. And that I think that's exactly what he he becomes the anchor in the times of our lives when the enemy comes in like a flood. You know, and he comes at us and we are overwhelmed and we wonder, is it really worth it? I mean, is it really beneficial in my life? Look at all that I'm, I'm going through. Look at all the persecution that I'm having. Is it really beneficial? And he's the one that holds us steady. I love that. You know, I got a, uh, received a book not too long ago about uh, the martyrs that are going play. It's women martyrs that are things are happening to wow. around the world right now. And you know, as we're making this devotion, there's people dying yep. all over the world for their stand for Christ. Yep. So the persecution we're experiencing is minor compared to what they're going through. And the stories of these women seeing their children murdered and yep. different things like that, their husbands murdered or their loved ones killed because of their stand for Christ. But I thank God that he's their anchor. Yes, Just amen. like he's their anchor. He's, he's not a respecter of persons. He's our anchor as well. And, you know, Jesus talks about building our house on a rock so when the storms of life do come, we will not be destroyed. I don't care who you are. You have storms. Everybody does. Everyone has storms. Yeah. I don't care how strong you are in the Lord. I don't care uh, how weak you are in the Lord. You're still going to have storms. Yep. And so... It's the rain what, falls on the just and the unjust. That's right. As, you it know, does. Comes. And so we we do. We live in a world where some it's constant change. But one thing that uh, uh, that we can count on yeah. is is our Jesus. He doesn't change. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And he's your anchor. I've noticed one thing lately. I guess it's because I'm getting older that I can be in a storm and keep my eyes on him. And although all hell is breaking loose around me. The next day, it's a little better. Yeah. yeah. The next day, it's a little better. And then there comes a time where I look back and I go, wow, he was with me the whole time. Yeah. And he already knew I was going to make it through Amen. if I just stood on his word. Absolutely. Amen. Well, I like the way that, be that word begins by two unchangeable things. One, 
God does not lie. He can't lie. If he said it, then it will come to pass. If he said he will be your anchor, he will be your anchor. Listen, quit resting in yourself. Quit trying to do it in the arm of the flesh and allow him to be your anchor to your soul, look, your mind, will, and emotions. Yeah, and look forward to the day when you're through that battle yes. and you look back and say, yes, I did it. We Amen. did it, Lord. We made it through. Amen. Amen. God bless. Have a great day.